obvious thing that I'm leading up to here is that self-sufficient off-earth settlements um, are our best hope for long-term survival, not of life on Earth, although I will argue that it actually would improve the prospects of our having, having the golden age, but for um, the survival of the human race. And I am so pleased that people like, impressive people like Hawking and Dyson and Reese are talking about that, have brought that back to the center of discussion. Uh, and people have been doing that for decades. Uh, Stuart Brand had his a book on the space colonies in the, in the 70s. Um, and having this come back to be at the center of discussion, I think, is actually quite important. And, and I think it's actually very, very important to, in particular, the long now. I also want to say that, again, this is not a way to avoid the singularity. <laughs> I think if the singularity can happen, it is going to happen. And it would happen in a singularity situation, too, uh, but along with all sorts of other things we don't, don't know about. What are some objections to having, talking about really serious, self-sufficient settlements in space? The first one is, which I, I get very seriously from very serious people, that chasing after safety in space would distract us from solving our life and death problems on Earth. I, you know, I... I, I, I think the situation on Earth is sufficiently dangerous that a moral stand on this issue is, uh, you know, against uh, uh, space colonies is, is, is very, very uh, uh, dubious. Uh, chasing after space assumes the real estate is not already taken. Hmm, that's actually a possibility. Uh, that and the singularity are two of the most important practical mysteries that we face. Um, a real space program would be too dangerous in the short term. Ah, that's one I don't hear very often. I think there's actually some virtue in that. You remember in that last slide, things blew up because people were dropping big rocks on their enemies? Uh, a, real, a real space program, meaning cheap access to space, is very close to uh, providing a, 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 a WMD capability. This may be one of those very rare circumstances Normally, when people talk about things they want to do, they're dangerous in the long term, but there's some gratification in the short term. Here, you have something that might conceive of, well, not, that I think is very good for the long term and might add somewhat to risks on the short term. That is kind of a peculiar situation. I don't think the, the existential risk is, is that great, but I wanted to put it on the list. And then there are the practical objections. There's no other place in the solar system to support human civilization, and the stars are too far. Well, being a child of 1950s science fiction, I could go on about this for another hour or so, but let me just say, the stars are not uh, too far. Um, even at, even at, um, even at uh, uh, relatively low speeds, um, if you're a long now type of person, 